Hi, Thumos, and welcome back. We gotta talk. Guys, this is a message for all the students out there. Most of you are men on this channel, some of you are women, and you know, you're a student. You're going through it, man. You're in the fritz. You're walking through this cave. And sometimes I'm very sure that it can get dark, and you can start to question what am I doing? Why am I doing this? Why did I set out on this journey? You see other people. You see what they're doing, you go on Instagram, you see these influencers, you see people living great lives, starting their own business, doing this, doing that, traveling the world, and here you are stuck at your uni, thinking, man, I gotta do homework, I gotta study. Here's what I gotta tell you, man. I think a lot of people need to hear this. You're going to school right now, realize this is your journey. You're in the middle of it, and you need to see it through. Now, it's not black and white, school isn't for everyone, but if you've made the decision to start going to school, you should forget any other kind of, you know, regrets, any, any past, hey, maybe I could do this. You're in school right now. What is the purpose of school? To learn a skill, to become valuable, and then to set yourself up for something greater after this journey. Many people have come before you. They have failed. They've succeeded. And you need to understand that your suffering now is going to be worth it. The suffering now is, is not compared to, you know, the gains and the treasure that is going to be outside of this cave. But you got to keep going, man. You're in the fritz right now. There's no use, you know, pulling your mind, stressing about this and that, trying to be swagged out, you know, buy a bunch of stuff and look cool, trying to do a bunch of different things. All you need right now, man, is focus. You need to focus and you need to keep going. Even though you feel overwhelmed, you need to keep going through this cave. You don't need to like take every little corridor inside of this cave and, and you know get lost. No, you, you're in the cave. You keep walking. You go with the ups and downs, but you don't keep going left and right and getting lost. You have to focus. Roughly four years, right? A lot of you guys are in school. You have to focus for four years. What should you be worried about? Here's what I would say. Make your body a weapon. You're going to stand out. You're going to be a more powerful individual. You have four years. There's no reason that you can't build a great, strong, powerful physique and continue to be healthy and have plenty of energy to do all your work and all your studies, okay? So I would make the gym a priority. I would make exercise a big priority. The next thing, listen, you have a perfect opportunity to be social and to make a bunch of friends. Like, I never had this opportunity, man. Never had this. I mean, how blessed are you to be in a place where a bunch of young guys and beautiful women are coming around, you know, hanging around with you. You can get to know them, but a lot of you guys are just being quiet. You're not, you don't think it's important to be social. You want to be the lone wolf, right? I'm not saying you always got to be social. You don't got to go to every party. But listen, join some clubs. Gain some friendships. Meet some beautiful women. Take them out on dates. Say hi. Start building your, your relationships. Be more social. You, it's all here given for you. Let me tell you, when you get out into the real world, it's not like that, man. There, it's not like that. It's, it's very difficult to build friendships, I would say. And, and uh, it's just given to you right now. Like here, here's a bunch of people your age. Here's a bunch of people that also will have similar interests to you. And it, it's just, it's amazing. So why aren't you doing it? The next thing, uh, focus on, you know, getting some kind of income. Like if, you, if you're struggling, young buck, man, like you got to work. You can bartend. You can go and, and work um, a part-time job. You don't want to go through college having zero resources. That would be foolish. So don't try to, you know, work to, to be swagged out and have the nicest place. Probably a lot of you are living in dorms or you're living with a roommate Rent is probably cheap, so you don't need much, right? You got your little wardrobe, but you don't need much, man. You don't need much. So this is the, the biggest advice I can give you. Just you have to keep going. Don't, uh, you got to see th things through. You have to see things through. And you can start to be curious on this journey. You know, you can start to entertain different things. What do I like? What are my interests? Is what I'm doing very unfulfilling? Maybe you got to see a little bit of foresight. You see a little bit more into the field, but don't think that mastering a skill is, is somehow not good. You know, in the world we live in, it seems like 
everyone wants to be an entrepreneur and everyone wants to have a business and everyone wants to be famous. Like, dude, learning a skill is going to get you very far in life. You learn a skill that can help other people and that is desired in the market. I mean, you're going to have you're going to have so much opportunities throwing themselves your way because you were the one that stuck to this path when everyone else was getting fed up. Oh, I can't study. You know, I, I can't focus. They're, I, they're just partying and doing all this stuff. They couldn't make it. They dropped off. They got discontent, right? So you want to stay, you want to stay motivated throughout this journey, man. You really do. So don't, don't think too much about what could have been, what could I do? Think about what you're doing now and how to get better at that thing and focus and lock yourself in a room with no phone, with no, you know, no internet and, uh, and study, try to time block your time every, every day that you need to study a couple hours. You get in the habit of doing that. You become, you become focused and diligent and you work out and you train yourself and you eat good food you go to sleep, you know, for the most part on time and you, and you live your life and you have fun doing what you can do because this isn't forever. This is just a short part. This is just four years that you got to be focused. And then you go out into the world and you see that, man, that was damn worth it. This is the apprenticeship that you need to go through. And it'll all pay off if you just stay vig vigilant, if you stay, uh, if you stay, you know, have some passion for what you're doing. If you, if you know that you can do whatever, things are going to work out. It's all going to work out. But you need to stay the course, man. Stay on that path. Stay in your lane. Don't run around, you know, like the horny hare. Be the based tortoise. Just staying on the path doing what you need to do. And if you want to start something on the side, you can do that. You have time, right? It doesn't take much. An hour, even 30 minutes a day. You know, you just keep showing up. Maybe you start writing. Maybe you start this and that, a YouTube channel. Maybe you start, uh, so, I don't know, like working on some sort of passion or, or some sort of hobby that you have. You have time to do that. But right now you need to focus. And it'll be so much easier to focus when you stop looking in the past. You don't want to look back, okay? Don't keep looking to the past. You've made up your mind. You've made the decision. That means you've cut off extra possibilities, you know, and, and you're setting out on this journey. So keep going. The light is at the end of the tunnel, but you need to focus, all right? That's all I got to tell you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed day, and I'll see you soon. Peace.